is up. A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. We are excited to announce that we partnered with and become part of the Aon family. If you've been using your desktop laser for a while now and are ready to take your business to the next level, then you might be ready for more. More power, more features, a larger bed size. But you want to keep the ease of use of a desktop laser? Well, the Aon Nova 14 has all of that and then some. So let's unbox it and tell you all about it. Our Nova 14 was delivered with a truck that had a lift gate he just used a pallet jack to wheel it off the truck and right inside the warehouse door. So it was up to us to actually put it in place. I kind of rigged the uh, pallet stacker to hold the front of it. It was long. Yeah, well he did this, you can see, by himself. No one was there. He just was like, let me see if I can move this thing. <laughs> I got a little bored and decided to uh, try to get it while you were busy. Yeah, and I kept saying, we'll have to move this bench in order to get it into place. I moved the bench. I killed two birds with one stone. <laughs> I used the laser to move the bench. Mm -hmm. But then I got stuck. <laughs> I couldn't get the pallet stacker out once I moved it by myself. Yeah. <laughs> Uncreating this big machine was actually pretty easy. Uh, once I cut the straps, I just unscrewed all the screws around the top. Ours came with screws. I've seen some that come with nails. And then everything just kind of fell apart. Yeah, and then you can see here, again, he's by himself. So I must have been in the other room. I know I was in the building. And he just went out there and said, you know what? I've got five minutes. I'm going to go take the sides off of this you, thing you by look, himself. You look busy. <laughs> I went and got you before it was time to remove the plastic. Yeah, that it sat like that for about 24 hours. Aeon packaged a bunch of goodies on the inside for us. The box on the left is a bunch of items that we can engrave as part of the affiliate program. The foam on the right is a deal that we got for the holiday season. They were giving a free fiber laser with purchase of a laser. So that is a fiber laser. We're going to do a video on that in the future. And it was pretty heavy. We needed Tanner and Garrett to get it up out of there. Each laser comes with a toolbox full of supplies. This one includes keys for unlocking the side panels. I'm not sure what that tool is. Extra springs for belts. And this is the key for starting the laser. That's the power cable. That was a t-shirt in our box. These are uh, laser glasses so that you can watch or cut. Nice little case for those. I think this thing is my favorite, the little remote. It's magnetic. Yeah, it, it sticks to the side of the machine just like that. It doesn't really move, and it's nice that it's uh, like in wireless. Yeah. yeah. These are extra lenses for different lengths. I think it was a two, two and a half, and three. Is that what it was? I think the other one was four. I think oh, it's four. Two, two and a half, and four. These are little guides for where to set the Z axis on your laser. A manual focus. It comes with autofocus, that's just if you need manual focus. Oh, these are great. These are little targets for helping you line up your mirrors. That we haven't seen before, and they were a great help. They were they were invaluable in aligning those lasers. Extra mirrors. Um, this is your little uh, check, say, in the QA. It's past QC, or quality check. Yep. It's your network cable. Oh, some Allen wrenches. USB for connecting directly to your laptop. Oh, there's a spare air hose in case you have a fire inside. And those are little exhaust clamps. Oh, extra stepper belts. And those are the... Yeah, those are the bolts for the feet. Yeah. And packing list. Oh, that is the laser head removal tool, or lens removal tool, and that is a great little tool. And a little, little brush for cleaning out. I'm not sure. Hoses, tiny hoses. Here we're removing the side panels. You're going to need to have those off when you align the mirrors and we're hoping it's going to save a little weight when trying to remove it from the crate. We used the keys to take off the large side panels and then we removed three screws, two on the side and one on the back to remove those corner panels. We used the crowbar to remove the two stop blocks in the back so that we'd be able to push the laser off of the back of the crate. 
This dowel trick is part of Emily from That Mom with the Lasers uncrating video on the Aeon website. This worked great. We were able to get the dowels under the laser, which allowed us to roll it off the back to attach the wheels. We used a one inch dowel, which barely fit up underneath there. We had to actually hammer it in place before we could push it up. With it pushed off the crate like this, we were able to add the rear two casters. These are really nice with this little orange lever here. It makes it easy to level the laser bed. We push the crate again to reveal yet another foot pad, and then we attach that caster to the front left of the machine. The last caster is the scariest caster. Yes. We have to try to push it off, but still get to that foot pad before we get it all the way off the crate. I decided to try to use a two by four and part of the crate and then kind of catch it as I push it off. <laughs> it worked and now we can put the foot on. So once the foot is on, I then use that lever to lower it down. Now let's delve into the details of this machine. The Aeon Nova 14 is not just a looker, it's packed with features. This is a professional level laser that is an all-in-one system with a built-in 5200 BTU water chiller, exhaust fan, and an air pump. The Nova is like a giant desktop laser engraving machine. Previously, we've had to purchase the chiller, the exhaust fan, and the air pump separately. The built-in air assist blows away smoke and debris from the cutting area, while the built-in exhaust system helps by removing the fumes. A series of tiny little fans force feed air into the laser cabin, creating an airflow that improves how quickly the smoke is evacuated from the system. The more air you have moving across your work table, the cleaner results you'll have. The laser tube is down below the bed, which is nice. That's different from our other lasers. We opted for the 130 watt CO2 laser tube. This is where the magic happens. With this power, it can cut through materials like acrylic, wood, and leather with ease. It will cut faster and have the power to cut through thicker materials. I really like where this Y stepper motor is in the back in its own little compartment. I also like where that laser tube is. I like that it's separate and it's down below. I think it'll stay cleaner longer this way. I'm gonna remove the two safety pins from the gantry. These were there for shipping. And let's talk about speed and precision. The Aeon Nova 14 is equipped with a lightweight laser head design and high quality linear guide rails and wider belts. This means smoother movement and more precise cuts and engraving. I mean, look at how fat those belts are. I am impressed with the size of those belts. The USB dongle and the power key are attached to that lightweight laser head. I really like that sleek design. I really like this squareness of that laser head. There, there's the power key and the USB. For the integrated cooling system, we'll need to add two gallons of distilled water. And we're also going to include some algae control to prevent algae from growing in the water system and flowing through the laser tube. And there's an easy indicator here on the right that red, green, and yellow lets you know in the green area that's normal. We're gonna fill it just above normal into full. Super simple. We're gonna turn the breakers off on the back of the machine and plug in the power cable. Even with the integrated chiller, blower, and air assist, this machine still uses a 110 volt outlet. In our previous machines, we had to have a 220 volt outlet installed by an electrician, so this was great. Another safety feature of this machine is the emergency stop button here on the back. It also comes with a water protection system, which will display on the controller what the water temperature is. Oh, that's neat. Now with the power on, I'm gonna turn the breakers on the back back on, flip them up, and everything should power on, including the water and you can see the water flowing through the tube. You don't get to see that often. It's like a one-time deal. <laughs> right, once it's full and there's no bubbles, you can't really tell if there's water in the tube or not. Now you wanna get all of the bubbles out of the tube. You don't wanna have any bubbles running through your tube when you're operating it. It's just best practices. But that is uh, looking cool. Let's talk about the build quality. 
The chassis is robust, ensuring stability during operation, which is vital for a precision work, and the whole thing is modular, which means you can replace parts of the machine, or this thing can be broken down into two parts so it'll fit through a tight hallway or even a standard doorway. And I really like the weather stripping and the wide belts. I also like how the mirrors are actually hidden outside of the cutting area. There's a lot of thought that went into the placement of these, these parts. I like that. Let's spin this thing around and get a good look at it. It's easy to move on these casters. I mean, it's easy to move now. <laughs> yeah, now, now it's easy to move. And there it is, the Aeon Nova 14 itself. I really like the modern, sleek look of this thing. I like the black, the flat blackness. I'd race this thing. The working area is 35 by 55, which offers ample space for large projects. It also has the front and rear pass-through, and that will fit materials one inch tall by 57 inches wide. So whether you're working on an intricate design or a large piece, this machine will be able to handle it. And there are a bunch of cool features that add to the ease of use, like its wireless remote, integrated auto focusing, red dot positioning being on the laser head, and the auto sensing rotary port located inside the machine. And it doesn't stop there. The machine features a motorized Z-axis. This allows for automatic height adjustment. This is crucial for working with different material thicknesses. It fits up to 17 inches of material thickness. The motorized work table includes both a blade and honeycomb table, and the autofocus can be used with either option. Next, we're gonna check the alignment. We're gonna check the mirrors and the lens alignment to make sure everything is perfect. It's highly recommended that you go to the Aeon website and follow their video. I do have to say, this is probably one of the easiest initial alignments that I did. Because of that continuous red dot pointer that comes from the tube and it bounces off all of the mirrors and those little acrylic targets and the remote, uh, this was probably one of the easiest initial alignments I've ever had to do. It did take about an hour, but again, those, key, those three key things really made this a breeze. And adjustments were simple. Small tweaks of the lever, you could watch the red dot pointer move up, down, side, so you knew exactly where center was. It was really simple to do. And the remote means I didn't have to walk back around to the front of the machine to hit the pulse every time. I could move it and hit pulse right there from the remote, which was, which was great. It saved me a lot of steps. Lastly, let's set up the laser software. For connectivity, you have options like USB, which is direct connect to your laptop, and Wi-Fi, which will make it super flexible for any workshop setup. It comes with RDWorks laser software, but you can easily upgrade to Lightburn. You can also import artwork directly from CorelDRAW, AutoCAD, and Illustrator with a plugin. The setup for this was super easy. I plugged in that USB that was attached to the top of the laser head. I went into add a device in Lightburn. I selected the USB drive and then I just imported the Lightburn files that I needed to, to run. This was pretty cool because for the Wi-Fi, I actually connect to the Wi-Fi coming from the machine. It doesn't actually run on my network's Wi-Fi. It's got its own Wi-Fi. I can also put it on my network, but right now I'm just gonna keep it to running off of its Wi-Fi. I think that's super cool. Yeah. The last thing we're gonna do is a test cut card. This will make sure our machine is set up properly. It will also give us our optimal speed and power parameters for this material. And that was our in-depth look at the Aeon Nova 14. We're thrilled to start using this machine and exploring its capabilities.